برطانیہ کی سینئر رحمان سابق رکن برطانیہ پارلیمنٹ جارج گیلوی برطانیہ کے شہر راستی میں انتیس فروری کو زمین الیکشن میں ورکر پارٹی کی جانب سے حصہ لے رہے ہیں انہوں نے برطانیہ کی سینئر صحافی عرب چودی سے خصوصی بات کرتے ہوئے کہا کہ میں منتخب ہو کر برطانیہ پارلیمنٹ اور ہر فرم پر فلسطین کی مظلوم عوام کے لیے آواز اٹھاؤں گا کشمیر کے متعلق سوال پر انہوں نے کہا کہ میں نے ہمیشہ کشمیر کے لیے آواز بلان کی ہے اس کے لیے میں مظفر آباد کشمیر کا دورہ بھی کر چکا ہوں کشمیر کے لیے کام کرنے پر حکومت پاکستان سے آلہ عزاز بھی حاصل کیا ان کا مزید کہنا تھا کہ منتخب ہو کر راستیل کے لیے کمیونٹی اور نوجوانوں اور کارباری لوگوں کے لیے نئے پروجیکٹ لے کر آوں گا راستیل میں نیا ٹاؤن بلڈ کرواؤں گا اور بڑے نئے سٹور بھی اوپن کروانے کی کوشش کروں گا اس بارے میں مزید جانتے ہیں سینئر صحافی عارف چودری سے Uh, everything is changing now, you know. Yeah. Everybody, you know. Well, now that the Pakistan election is over and the Indonesian election is over, Rochdale is the most important election in the world right now because it will answer the question whether the people of England support their government and their Labour opposition in backing the Israeli genocide against the people of Gaza. And I think the answer will be an overwhelming no. Uh, the people of England reject the British support for Israel in this slaughter. But we'll have to wait till the 29th uh, to see about that. But you're right, my opponents are going down like nine pins. And actually, there's another one likely to go down over the weekend, uh, as I'm told. Uh, so by the time we get to polling day, I hope there's someone left to beat Uh, but beat them, I'm confident we will, because the people here are determined to stand up for, to speak out for the people of Gaza who have no voice themselves, who cannot stand up for themselves. Yeah. Rochdale will do it for them. I'm very confident about yeah, that. Yeah, the big voice uh, always, uh, you know, everywhere in part of Gaza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what about the Kashmir? Yes, well, uh, this uh, is the, uh, one of my uh, most uh, treasured awards. It's from the President of Pakistan. It's called the Helale Pakistan and is given to me for my work on Kashmir. Uh, I gave my first speech on Kashmir in Muzaffarabad in 1990, 34 years ago, long before I was asking Kashmiris to vote for me in Rochdale, indeed, before I'd ever been to Rochdale. So I have stood up for the people of Kashmir for all these decades because I believe in it, not so I could ask someone for a vote for it later on. Yeah. If you win, what's your plan for especially young generation in the Rochdale area, you know, because of one like stadium and other things, you know, need to student jobs and The, the, the town of Rochdale is down in the dumps and we intend to pick it up. We'll pick it up in the center, in the exchange shopping center, reopening the open air market, bringing Primark into town, which is a very popular uh, demand, uh, and fighting for youth services. You see, the youth get up to no good sometimes, but they have nothing else to do. And shaitan finds work for idle hands. Uh, and so we are determined that we will put a smile back on the face of the people of Rochdale, put a spring in their step. Spring is just around the corner. Uh, and I think when you come back and interview me in six months, you'll discover the beginnings of a new Rochdale. Make Rochdale great again. That is our slogan. Because now is a you know, big business community around the... Greater Manchester, uh, like uh, uh, Chodhi Bilal uh, with you. So you're doing any projects for the facility, for the business community as well? Yes, I've just been negotiating with the Adan Group uh, based in Blackburn, uh, a £1.3 billion pound company, who've bought the exchange and I've been in negotiation with them about the open air market, uh, about the Primark uh, situation. And we hope to use a, a bustling market, a bustling shopping center in the center of town to kickstart the uh, local economy. Uh, all the streets on the way down to the exchange, uh, all the shops there uh, will benefit greatly from more footfall, more uh, custom, and uh, a rising tide lifts all boats. That's what we plan. It's no accident that most, if not all, 
of the businessmen in Rochdale are backing me because I have a love for, first of all, small and medium-sized enterprise. But more importantly, I have a reach in the world, in East Asia, in West Asia, in South Asia, in the Middle East, in the Gulf. I have a reach that no other candidate in this campaign can uh, claim. And I'll be using that reach to bring people into Rochdale and to help lift all boats. Who knows? You know, the Rochdale Football Club fell out of the league. Maybe we'll get it back in the upper divisions. I'm hoping so.